What's up guys, Dick Pin in here, and I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the bow into the fire bow. If you guys want to see how to do the other three bow upgrades, take a look in the link in the description below. We got tons of Dare Eyes and Drop videos on my channel, and they're amazing. So like and subscribe. Now to start this mission, you'll need the bow, and then you'll need to go to the watchtower, and to get this piece right here, you just shoot the wall where the icon is, and it just shows up. No starting easter egg needs to be done. So the next place you need to go to is the testing of the rocket, and you're going to have to wait until it actually does a test. And the moment it opens up the door, you need to run to this little light and shoot it with your bow. Now, I've tried this many times from a distance, and you have to be right up on it, or it will not go through. Now, once you get the big fireball in the air, you're going to want to make sure you've already used all the launchers, okay? So once you used all Never the launchers, now whenever you use the launch pads, you'll see these glowing orange circles, and they'll only show up when you're in the air. So while you're in the air, you have to shoot these circles mid-air, and there'll be three of them. So that was the first one right there. You have to take the launch pad to double tap. Then you have to take the church launch pad, and you shoot where the... Uh, electrical machine is and this one can be a real pain to get but you have to shoot it right there and hit the nail on the head you'll know when you get it because basically you'll see it light up and you'll hear that weird sound so the last one is Less in the testing that, the, the rocket facility and you have to launch from here and then aim at the street boom that was first try I actually got really lucky on that one and then if you nail those three that's that's the step but there's another part to this step you have to go to these areas and you have to kill about 10 or 15 zombies while standing in the circle. You can, you can kill them from any distance to gather their souls, but you must be standing in the circles. And so we'll start with this one. You'll know you're done because you'll see and hear the firelight shoot up in the sky. And then you'll go to the electrical machine one. And these are all very easy. You just kind of stand in the middle and spam your bow. As long as you're doing this on an early enough round, they're pretty simple. And so then the last one's right here. Let's go ahead and start spamming this bow. <laughs> and so, so far so good. You know, this Easter egg is pretty challenging. I think it's one of the harder ones, but the pay is pretty good. I was able to get to my highest round ever after this particular Easter egg. And so it was definitely well worth it. I'll show you that at the end of the video. Start making your guesses what round that is in the comments. <laughs> Be pretty funny and like the video for all the support and love. So once you put all the zombie souls into that, you're gonna come up here, press the box button, the clock will rotate and you'll get this icon. That will be random every time what this icon is, but you have to find which fireplace out of three has that icon inside of it for the next step. So this is the first one in the computer room. That's not the icon we're looking for. So the next one's gonna be the room opposite of Samantha's room. I'm not sure which, uh, whose room this is, but nonetheless, it has a fireplace. Let's see. I don't like this and that's place. our icon. Kind of so this atmosphere. is the fireplace we're going to have to light. And it's not as easy as just shooting it. It's actually kind of difficult to do this. If you guys are wondering where the last and third fireplace is, where your icon could be, it's right here in this room, right there. Basically where the, I call the double tap dog is. <laughs> So what you're going to have to do to light the fireplace is you're going to have to kill zombies inside of the orange square. Only one of them will be lit up now, and that's the one you're going to have to do it. And basically, you're going to have to be inside this little rock, and you get three shots to make it to the fireplace. So my first shot's going to be over here in the open gate. Then I ran out, of, ran out of arrows. I had to go a few rounds until a dog round happens, but basically you only get three shots to do this. And if you miss, you're going to have to go back and kill zombies on the standing orange light to get this to spawn again. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get up in the room, and we're trying to then get it into the fireplace. So I only have one more shot left to make it into the fireplace. You only get three. So be very careful on how you shoot this and try to aim it really, you know, as close as you possibly can to the fireplaces. So I'm in the middle of it. You see the fireplace, and booyah. Now when I first did this easter egg, I thought that you had to like stand next to it. You do have to hit box to kind of give it like an activate fire, but this is not where the arrow will spawn. So get out of here, 
be careful, don't get trapped. These fireplaces are death traps. Well, at least this one is. The one thing, Peter Room, not so much. Now, what you want to do is you want to go back to the electrical trap and hit box on the huge fireball. This will forge all these pieces together. It will explode, and your arrow will drop down, and it'll be right here. And now the fun part. All we have to do now is go down to the pyramid area and spawn about, you know, 15 zombies into the soul area. And we'll be able to upgrade our bow. So this bow is it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool because basically if you get stuck and you have this bow, you're able to get yourself out of a situation. And this is 25 plus rounds, even into like the late 30s. This bow can get you out of being stuck. And that's really what you're looking for for those high round bows. So this basically traps all the zombies into this little hellbind and kills them. And it's really, really awesome. So we got to round 37 doing this, and it was pretty awesome. That is my new highest. The highest before was only 32. Hopefully we're going to break 40 at one point. But if this video helped, like, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and we'll have a lot more Black Ops 3 DLC maps coming soon. Dust can fly, like and subscribe. Peace.